this place Dante's Inferno The Devil's Maze It's a good world Good world going back Hey guys, what's up? So I've just dropped Becker off at our friend's baby shower. We've got all the house stuff sorted. It's official. We've signed the paperwork. We are now sort of homeowners because it's not built yet. Very, very exciting. And um, Becca is over the moon. Um, what I want to do is, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it, is go buy like, because um, we've been given our our address. I want to go buy like a, a, a name plaque, like um, to say the name and street number. Um, but I don't know if I can go get that made today or if it's something I would have to order. But I'm going to go try anyway. Um, and I'm going to go for an adventure and take some pictures somewhere. So I've got Becca dropped off by myself now. I've literally got no plans today. I literally don't know what to do. Um, but Becca, the diet's off today, obviously Becca's at the baby shower, she said she's going to have a little treat. I've treated myself to a mini little Domino's. I paid £9, almost £10 for this. What? Hope it tastes good. That was the biggest waste of money ever. For £10 I could have had a proper meal, like a sit down meal at a pub. Not that I would go like to a restaurant by myself, but very peaceful down here I've been down here before if you're a fan of the older vlogs that I did I flew me drone down here and almost uh, lost it because the compass failed and it started to head right towards that bridge um, but I might take a couple of pictures I, I don't know if looking right in the distance you can't really see it there it's too blown out but round about there it is a brand new bridge I need to go put the ND filter on I need to run back to the car I'll go put the ND filter on and then hopefully everything looks a little bit better that looks better with the ND filter on, doesn't it? So down here, it's not really a particularly amazing place to take photos. I can't really find anywhere I want to go in Sunderland to take photos. Yeah, but I've just took a couple of, I love long exposures with water, where you capture the movement in the water. Um, when it's starting to get like, really cold, and I think it's going to rain. Go ahead to my health, I don't want to stay here for ages. Um, so I'm going to go into the car and Google where to go. So I've come to a place called Herrington Country Park. Um, it's a pretty cool place, but as soon as I've got here, it started to rain. So I've sat in the car for a little bit. Um, I'm going to get out in a second because it stopped raining. I'm not going to go too far from the car. I'm just going to go down to the lake. Really sorry, this is like a boring vlog. But this one is mainly for our memories. Because um, I always want to remember the day that we officially like bought a house. Um, but after I've enough picked Becker up, um, we're going to go to Tesco. Um, so that'll be a test taking a camera this size into Tesco. Hopefully I don't get kicked out. Um, and then we're going to watch a Marvel movie tonight. Um, so we'll be doing a little thing. I bought another new t-shirt as well the other day, which I'll show you when I get in. It's Disney related as well, so keep watching till we get back later. Um, so I'm going to go have a little walk, just have a look at the lake, see if I can get some B-roll. You know I love B-roll And um, then that sounds like my phone So maybe it's back as ready So let's go and have just a five minute little walk never actually been this close to a swan before pretty cool there's loads of them over here though so I've just got the text off Becca and 
she'll give us a address for where she is so it looks like I'm gonna have to go and try and find her bit cold for an ice cream so we're back home just being to tell me mum and dad the good news Becca's just shown us some pictures from the um the baby shower and then we're going to crack we've got a, like a bottle of nice like not expensive because i don't think prosecco is expensive but a nice like pricier bottle of prosecco that we've been keeping ready for the moment when we've signed the papers so we're going to go in can't take the smile off my face really really happy again i know this is probably a boring vlog for you but it's a nice memory for us to keep um and look back in like five ten years time and remember the day that we bought the house and turn into an adult so i've just come home my dad's got this like Thing. Look how cool this is, watch. Mm -hmm. I want to play with this. Play with it. Not to play with. Yeah, the bone have a big breeze, dad excited with his new toy there. Watch this, guys. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Could see myself having some fun with that. Ooh, so I've just had a bath there, not a hot one like I did last night. Um, we've just logged into the Barrett Home website because um, that's who we've bought a home through. Um, and we're gonna, it, it, it's really crazy, it blows my mind that like all the options that we want on the house we just literally go online and tick the box. It's as if you were doing like online grocery shopping which is crazy. So we've ticked the um, additional kitchen, which is a fortune. So how much is back at three three thousand two hundred pound? Three thousand three hundred. Three thousand three hundred for like the upgraded kitchen. But from what we gathered, it means you get like your washer, um, tumble dryer, dish dishwasher, um, fridge freezer and you get all that upgraded stuff like self-closing cupboards and drawers and that sort of thing so in the long run it is going to be worth it we've looked at the other options like flooring and stuff and that's going to cost a fortune so i think we're going to go elsewhere um for that because just for like downstairs i think that downstairs only they'll want something like 1400 pound just to carpet downstairs which is crazy but anyway we're going to nip downstairs we're going to pop the prosecco open i've also got some beer because i've never had beer for a couple of weeks because obviously we've been on the health kick but it's a nice day we're celebrating and i think just because it's a nice celebratory night we're going to have a pizza as well because again we've ate so good for so long becca's almost lost a stone i've lost around half a stone because i've been a little bit more naughtier than becca um so i'm just going to go downstairs i'm just waiting for yesterday's vlog to finish uploading um and then we'll decide what pizza we're getting <laughs> Yes. Oh. oh, that's awful. I'm not a wine person. So the foods, yeah, you can't go wrong with a free garlic bread. And I went for a kebab meat pizza, but tonight for a change, I got a chili base, um, which you can see there. So it should be really, really spicy. My mum and dad got a meat feast pizza. Bet I went for a kebab, but I'm looking forward to trying this because I really, really wanted a spicy pizza. Oh, I am absolutely stuffed. Ate far too much pizza. It was a nice, like, refreshing change though, considering like we've been eating healthy for like a couple of months now. I've never had like any takeaways or any beer or anything bad. I've had a couple of beers tonight, um, but it's like half ten at night now, so we're just going to watch a couple of YouTube videos. I think Exploring with Josh has just uploaded another Chernobyl series video, which we're really interested in. and um, would love to go to Chernobyl and check it out, but for now, get to watch it on Josh's videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for putting up with this boring vlog today. Please leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember to leave a comment. We do love speaking to you. Um, via the comment section on these videos and we'll see you in the next one and remember stay tuned